When I was at Cornell way back in the, in the early 50s, before I went to Julia, before I went to Mills, uh, William Austin was a uh, music teacher and he played this recording of Balinese Gamelan. Now, I never heard of Balinese Gamelan in my life. And I thought, wow, this is incredible. I had no idea how do they do that. You can just start right on, because neither of us play right there, right? I think there's got to be a sort of way where you just just accent it and we kind of yeah. to keep it. Simultaneous different tempos, all very rationally related. And there's no change of harmony. I think there's like very there's there's very little margin for phrasing in it, you know, because everything has to lock into whatever yeah. the field is. So how does it stay interesting? Well, incredible changes of melody, incredible changes of rhythmic complexity, and incredible changes of timbre of sound color. It, 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 it also, I, dynamically, got trying to say to get to together and. With the same timbre, like he's actually a little bit brighter. I don't know whether it's the guitar, pedals, whatever it is. You need a little bit more edge. We talked about this before. Yeah. You haven't got any reverb on anything, do you? No. Because this is really a flat, dry. I mean, you're going to be in a big hall and so on yeah. and so forth. This admittedly is the hardest. Yeah. Kid, right? Yeah. So, um, what, what do we get to start off? Like, you get just two bars and three to start seven fifteen. Sure.